Okay, let's look at B. Region R is the base of a solid. For this solid, each cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis is an isosceles right triangle with a leg in R. Find the volume of the solid. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say it says that it's at each cross-section perpendicular is an isosceles right triangle with a leg in R. So, what does that mean? Well, that means you have essentially a right triangle, a bunch of right triangles here that are three-dimensionally that are going out like so. Okay, so you have a bunch of they're they're, sh they're shooting out of the uh, out of the piece of paper like so. Now, the thing to realize is that we practiced on some of these before. Well, the ones that we practiced on the legs were here and here, and this was the hypotenuse, okay? In this particular problem, if you read the instructions carefully, it says the isosceles right triangle leg is in here. So that means that if I call this distance right here from here to here, if I call that D, that means the three-dimensional figure is going to be D, D, and this is going to be D square root of 2, which means your base is D and your height is also D okay so you have to read very careful because it doesn't mean that your pictures are always going to be default now what is this value of D well D is simply again top minus bottom so all I have to do is take the top function subtract the bottom function and we're good to go well the top function is uh, y equals 4, so the top function is 4, and we're going to subtract the bottom function, which is, we can I can just denote it as f of x. Okay, so all I have to do now is integrate from 0 to 2.3, 1 half base times the height, dx. Okay, well, both the base and the height are the same value of d, so I'm just going to have to integrate from 0 to 2.3, 1 half uh, d squared, because the base and the height are both nothing more than d, d times d is d squared, so this value here is d squared. And if you do that correctly, you should get roughly 3.574. So, super important, okay? This is why it's important that you guys, when you, when you work through problems, you need to understand what you're doing, not just memorize steps. Because this right triangle is not like the ones that we've done in the past. And the only way you're going to get that is if you read the, the instructions very carefully. So, what we see time and time again with AP is read carefully. Hopefully you all are doing this. Hopefully this makes sense. And I'll see you in the next video.